Hi guys, it's Dr. O'Connor. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I want to talk to you today about the upcoming holiday season and healthy food swaps. So like I said, the holidays are coming up. It's food, family, fun. We get to have a great time and sometimes we kind of let our diet go and we indulge just a little bit too much. Only to wake up New Year's Day and we're swearing we're gonna do better, save more, spend less, and lose the weight. So instead of trying to do everything after the holidays, why don't we try a little something so we can avoid the weight gain before the holidays actually come upon us. And with that, just a couple little tips to help you navigate the food and also to help you with the holiday swapping. So the first thing is the star of the show, which is turkey. Turkey is full of protein and it's one of the healthiest things that we have on the menu. Turkey has zinc, it has iron, it has potassium. And one of the healthy tips I want you to know about is stay away from the dark meat if you can. The dark meat has more calories and twice the amount of fat as the white meat of the breast of the turkey. And if you're having a small group of people, you don't need to have a whole turkey. You can just have the turkey breast. Another healthy swap is you want to do a complete switch from grandma's mashed potatoes. Yes. Get rid of grandma's mashed potatoes. I got a completely new healthy twist on that. And it's cauliflower mashed potatoes. These cauliflower mashed potatoes taste great. I know you're thinking what, but it's absolutely amazing. You get a ton of vitamin C and a ton of vitamin K. What you do is you take the cauliflower, cut off the stems, break it up into small little pieces. You can boil it for about six minutes or some recipes say that you can even steam it for a fluffier type of cauliflower. You take that cauliflower, put it into your food processor, and once that's into the food processor, you're gonna add a little bit of low-fat cream cheese, you're gonna add some Parmesan cheese, you're gonna add some garlic, season it to taste, and as soon as you uh, finish processing it, you'll have it to serve with a little bit of chives. This is absolutely amazing. It is a great, healthy option just trash the mashed potatoes. The next thing is if you're not a mashed potato person and you want your candied yams with all the gooeyness and the fat and the cream, that's a ton of calories. What you can do is just take some normal, regular sweet potatoes and just have them. You can cube them, you can slice them, drizzle them with a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. If you want some of that sweetness, just a little bit of brown sugar. And you're gonna trade all that fat and all those calories for vitamin C, vitamin A, B1, B6, B12, whole host of chock full of goodness in just simply swapping the sweet potatoes for your candied yams. Now, another one of grandma's favorites is that mushroom green bean casserole. Totally get rid of that. That's got a lot of fat with that mushroom cream sauce. You could just get organic or even microwavable fresh green beans. And you take these green beans, saute them, put them with a little canola oil, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, and some shaved almonds, and you've got another healthy alternative. This is vitamins, vitamin A, you've got vitamin um, uh, E, you've got protein from the almonds. This is gonna be something that's a lot more healthy for you and not only is it healthier it's got a lot of fiber so it's going to keep you feeling full longer so it's going to help you maintain your weight gain your, your your diet not your weight gain the other thing is most people will probably tell me don't mess with mama's mac and cheese and i'm not but if you just do a couple of healthy swaps instead of that enriched white pasta if you can use whole wheat pasta or gluten-free pasta, that's going to make it much more healthier. You're going to have more fiber. And then you can swap out that whole milk and use low-fat milk. Swap out the sour cream for uh, uh, low-fat uh, Greek yogurt. And you'll still have a good, wholesome feeling macaroni and cheese, but it's not all that calories and all that fat. And another thing with stuffing. What's Thanksgiving without stuffing? If you've got that white bread 
that's really going to be empty calories. So you want to have a whole bunch of whole wheat cubed uh, bread. You can use fresh celery, fresh onions, saute them, season it to taste, and it's just much healthier. Listen, I'm not telling you not to have fun during the holidays, but if you can do just a couple of simple healthy swaps, you're going to have a great time, you're going to enjoy your family, and you're going to maintain your healthy weight loss goals. Even when, you're, when everything's in moderation, when you're drinking alcohol, a glass of wine has 150 calories. If you do a white wine spritzer or a red wine spritzer, you're cutting that right in half. Portion control, moderation, that's what's going to be important, and that's what's going to help you get through this holiday season happy, healthy, and whole. So if this was helpful, please share it, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your colleagues. Just make sure you share it because this is important information. You can like me on Twitter, you can like me on LinkedIn, you can follow me on Facebook. If you have any questions or any suggestions, you can reach me on my website, www.lenoconnormd.com. But until then, happy holidays, be safe, be well, and try some of these holiday food swaps. Thanks.